certified Jenkins engineer uh, certification catalyst series so this is the first question of this series okay so this is regarding CJE 2020 okay so a lot of things in Jenkins can be customized or automated using Groovy scripts if a Jenkins operator or a DevOps professional writes a Groovy script using the script console it is guaranteed is it guaranteed that it always run in the Jenkins environment or does it need further approval okay so it's asking that whether if I write something in the script console any Groovy script will it always run or will it need further approval so the options a yes any Groovy script which is written will always run in the Jenkins environment provided that the user has built permissions on a pipeline b the script will be allowed to run provided the developer is using the scripted pipeline methodology number c all groovy scripts will by default run in a groovy sandbox provided they are trusted or safe any untrusted script would need to be approved explicitly by the administrators using the in process script approval d yes it is allowed but only for authenticated users anonymous users cannot run groovy scripts and e all groovy scripts need to be approved no matter how simple or safe they are deemed to be and without approval nothing would be allowed so see this question is regarding the groovy scripts how to run them the approval process and everything is very important from the exam perspective so i got at least uh, one one question i think on the groovy scripts or two maybe okay so this is a very important part both from jenkins perspective and also from so before we answer the question let me very quickly go to the this console so if i go here these are jenkins console that i have running on my aws instance and if i go to the script console yes so let's see what this is so as you can see you this is a script console if you type in an arbitrary groovy script and execute it on this server this is useful for troubleshooting and diagnostics use the println command to see the output uh, if you use system data uh, anyways so basically for example i can run groovy scripts from directly from the script console for example i'm running this groovy script and as you can see i'm getting this result so the question is that if i run anything here will it always run or does it need any approvals or anything like that so see the idea here is basically you can use the script console or there are other ways also okay it's not only the script console there are other ways also to run groovy scripts using a jenkins for example there is the jenkins uh, groovy let me see if i can find it yes so as you can see you can use this groovy to execute the specified groovy script you can use groovy sh to run an interactive groovy shell so these are also ways to run groovy scripts. so there are a variety of ways in which you can run groovy scripts and the question is that if i run any groovy script whether it will run now so thing is that whatever you run in the script console okay basically will run in an authorized sandbox so that you cannot write unsafe code here for example if i run a code which will for example uh, destroy or for example alter Jenkins home I don't want I don't want people to have that level of control even via these programs so if I run unsafe things safe limited kind of things here it will always work no need for permission but if there is any script for example which uh, needs uh, some level of security approval okay so which for example are unsafe scripts so then admins will have to approve those scripts okay so if i go to here manage jenkins you will see something called uh, script approval yes in process script approval so see what it is saying allows the jenkin admin who has access to this to review the proposed scripts which are written in groovy which run inside the jenkins process and so could bypass security restrictions so basically if for example in your in anywhere you have written a groovy script which jenkins deems unsafe okay then those things will come here and they will need your approval basically okay so they will need your approval and what will happen is that unless and until you approve them they will not run okay only when you approve them after that they will run so if you come to this section okay this is talking about this in process script approval so what it is saying jenkins and a number of plugins allows user to execute groovy scripts in jenkins for example one is the script console that i showed then then jenkins pipeline you can run extended email plugin the groovy plugin okay and then the job dsl plugin now to protect jenkins from the executions of malicious scripts 
this plugins will execute the user provided scripts in a groovy sandbox so there is a sandbox okay a groovy sandbox that has created and it limits what internal apis are accessible not everything is allowed in a groovy sandbox so by default things will try to be run in the groovy sandbox now if the api calls that you are making or the kind of things you are trying to do in using this script console or all of this places from where groovy script execution is allowed they are within that limit of what is allowed in a groovy sandbox they will always run you don't need any explicit approval but in case you are using apis which are not allowed by default in a sandbox then you need approval so administrators can then use the in process script approval which is provided by the script seek to manage which unsafe methods if any should be allowed in the jenkins environment if unsafe methods should be allowed so by default if you write a safe method it will by default run in the groovy sandbox but a groovy sandbox has a limit on what you can run okay not everything is allowed there so you can see there is a limit on the internal apis that are accessible so if you use something which is not by default allowed in a groovy sandbox then it goes to this in process script approval now in that case as soon as some you will see those things that you need to approve so the administrator will have to approve it or reject it if they approve it then it can run otherwise it will be rejected so as you can see the in process script approval okay now as you can see uh, the script security plugin is installed automatically by the post install setup wizard so basically this one this this the screen that you are seeing the script approval this is also part of a plugin so in jenkins most of these functionalities many of these functions for example blue ocean it's also a plugin right so for example this in process script approval is also a plugin but the good thing is that if you follow the recommended set of plugins for jenkins installation so i will cover that point in another question then you don't have to be worry about this so this will by default be installed now security for in process scripting is provided by two different mechanism the groovy sandbox and script approval the first which is the groovy sandbox is enabled by default it allows user supplied scripted and declarative pipeline to execute without prior administrator intervention the second which is script approval it will allow administrators to approve or deny on sandbox scripts or allow sandbox scripts to execute additional methods so it approve or deny on sandbox scripts so basically the script approval is needed it will allow administrators to approve or deny on sandbox scripts or allow sandbox scripts to execute additional methods for most instance the combination of the groovy sandbox and the six script securities built in list of approved method signatures will be sufficient it is strongly recommended administrators only deviate from this default if absolutely necessary so see what they're saying to reduce manual intervention by administrators okay most scripts will be run in a groovy sandbox by default including all of jenkins pipelines okay it will be run in a groovy sandbox the sandbox it only allows a subset of groovy methods which are deemed sufficiently safe for untrusted access to be executed without prior approval so no approval is needed but only a limited set of uh, uh, groovy uh, methods can be called the scripts which use the groovy sandbox are all subject to the same restriction therefore a pipeline which is authored by an administrator is subject to the restrictions as one which is authorized by a non administrative user so even if an administrator authors a pipeline which for example uses groovy calls which are deemed unsafe then that also needs to be explicitly approved by again the administrator group when a script which attempts to use features or methods which are unauthorized by the sandbox the script is halted immediately as shown so for example the pipeline is running and the script will be halted see what it is saying the script is not permitted to use the static method get this at this so the pipeline ever will not execute until the administrator will approve this method signature via the in process script approval page so as soon as you run a pipeline which uses for example this method which is not allowed it will come start showing here and then you will have to approve that annually and only then it will be allowed in addition to adding approved method signatures users may also disable the groovy sandbox entirely and disabling the groovy sandbox requires that the entire script must be reviewed and manually approved by an administrator for example when you have defined the pipeline okay and you are writing the pipeline script so for example you have disabled this use groovy sandbox okay so basically this is enabled by default and you have disabled it so it shares a jenkins administrator will need to approve this script before it can be used so even for example this is a potentially safe method okay 
So if you had clicked on this use gravity sandbox, no intervention would have been needed because this is a safe method. But since you have removed it, so the entire thing still needs to be approved and script approval. Okay. Now manual approval of entire scripts or method signatures by an administrator provides the administrator with additional flexibility to support more advanced usage of in-process scripting. When the Groovy sandbox is disabled, either for example the Groovy sandbox has been disabled or for example a method outside of the built-in safe list is invoked, the security plugin will check the administrator managed list of approved scripts and methods. For scripts which wish to execute outside of Groovy sandbox, the san administrator must approve the entire script in the in-process script approval page. And for scripts which is using the Groovy sandbox but they wish to execute and un a currently unapproved method signature which will also be halted by Jenkins, they will require the administrator to approve the specific method signature before the script is allowed to execute. So for example, you are running it in Groovy sandbox but you are using a method signature which is not within the default allowed or safe list of a Groovy sandbox then you have then administrators using the in process script approval page will have to approve the method signature only. So you can see here only the method signature needs to be allowed. Okay. But for example, if you are not even wishing to use the Groovy sandbox and you have to disable this tick box, okay, use Groovy sandbox, then the entire script, the entire body basically, the method signature, everything needs to be approved. Now, this is another part which is very used, approved assuming permissions checked. Okay. So please read this part also, what this is saying that rather than approving this, okay, this function, what they are saying is that you can do approved assuming permission check, meaning the function will only be allowed if the user who is calling the pipeline has the permission. So please read this part also. So here it what it is saying that uh, following this method invocation which will list requires the user. So th this could mean that approving a, instead it is usually more desirable to click approve assuming permissions check which will cause the script approval engine to allow the method signature assuming that the user who is running the script meaning either the pipeline or the user who is running the script has the permissions to execute the method as simple as that. So please read this part. Okay, so Groovy script this is very important. You will find it also here in this user handbook. Okay, so if I do for example, Groovy, I should, and, uh, yes, you can see Groovy sandbox, same thing, which I was saying here, you will find the entire thing here, script console, Groovy sandbox, anyways. So, so if I now come to the question, so as you can see, yes, any Groovy script will written will always run in the Jenkins environment provide the user has build permissions. No, this is not true. Even if the user has the permission to run the script, if it is an unsaved method, you still need to, administer still needs to approve it. The script will be allowed to run provide the developer is using the scripted pipeline. No, same question, same uh, things. Uh, so even if you are using the pipeline method, the same concept remains. All Groovy scripts will by default run in a Groovy sandbox, which is true, provided they are trusted or safe, true. Any untrusted script would need to be approved explicitly by the administrator using the in-process script approval. This is the correct answer C. D, what it is saying, yes, it is only allowed for authenticated users, anonymous users cannot run Groovy scripts, no. Even for auth authenticated users, you still need to go via the process that I previously explained. All Groovy scripts need to be approved no matter how simple or safe they are deemed to be without approval, nothing would be allowed. This is false. If they are very, very safe, okay, if those scripts are within that built-in method list and you have ticked that I am okay to use Groovy sandbox, okay, then those scripts need not be approved. Okay, uh, you don't need a manual intervention by an administrator to run very simple and safe things. Only if the things are unsafe, that is when this app built-in this uh, in-process script approval process comes into picture. So C. So as you can see, the answer is C. All Groovy scripts which will be run by default in the Groovy sandbox, provided they're trusted or safe. Okay. So basically, this question is more about this Groovy sandbox feature and this in-process script approval feature. How you can execute Groovy scripts? This is an important part of the uh, the exam. So understand this. If you run a Groovy script. Okay, in any way, okay, via pipeline, via that Groovy CLI, via the script console, if you are okay to use Groovy sandbox and the functions are deemed safe or trustworthy, so they are, there is a list of functions which are deemed safe, if it falls under that, okay, then your script will run. 
but in case for example you are using a gooby sandbox but your mm, function is not in the safe list okay then administrator needs to approve it or for example your function is very simple or complex but you have anyhow chosen that i'm not going to run it in a gooby sandbox okay so i have removed that tick then also it needs to be explicitly approved anyway so thank you everybody so please share your feedbacks in the comment sections and more questions coming soon thank you